Exhausted from their encounter with the troll, Harry, Ron and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Up! Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! It's Gryffindor versus Ravenclaw! Let's play Quidditch! A glint of gold? Is that the snitch? Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! Want to see the snitch? He's getting closer! This is amazing! Stay on target! Potter's gaining! Yeah! Good catch! Potter has the snitch! Gryffindor wins again! My name's Lee Jordan, signing off! Thanks to Harry's skill as a seeker, Gryffindor won the Quidditch match against Ravenclaw. Harry, Ron and Hermione spent most of their free time in Hagrid's hut, trying to convince him that he couldn't keep Norbert his beloved dragon. Eventually, after much coaxing, Hagrid agreed. Harry unwrapped the unexpected Christmas present. Something fluid and silvery slithered out. It's an invisibility cloak, said Harry. They're very rare. There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession, Harry read. Use it well. A very Merry Christmas to you. Harry tried on the cloak, while Ron and Hermione helped him prepare for the climb up the tower. Be careful, Harry, said Hermione. You can't stay invisible while you cast spells. Filch might see you. With Norbert safely bundled up, Harry set off for the tallest tower. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Huh? Huh? What's that? Huh? 